Are you crazy going out in this? I got a better idea. Come with me. So probably one of the unknown boats that none of us dealers really promote out there in videos is the, the smaller boats. So we've got the darts, we've got the explorers, we've got the new Outback Explorer. Now let me show you the new Outback Explorer. I think this is Quintrex's most innovative uh, example of moving forward this year. So let's have a good look at them, Billy. So let's start with one of the, well, the smallest Outback Explorer, which is the 350. So this boat is classed as a car topper. Nice flat deck, so it can easily be loaded. It's under 80 kilos, so it's not over the boat loading, most of the boat loaders on the market's rating. But what they've achieved with this boat, the main thing is, number one, all the Outbacks have the new fighter hull. So let's have a look at the fighter hull. So noticeably straight away, we've got this pickled for front end, the wider, more aggressive hull, more stability because the front of the boat is squarer than coming up to a little sharp point. So that's the front end of the boat taken care of. So what's changed inside the boat? Number one big thing, welded seats. This boat and the 370 prior had the riveted seats, now fully welded. More strength, more bracing. And the biggest thing about an Outback is, is look at this, look at this depth. Have a look inside this boat, Billy. This is a 350. Have a look at the depth. It gives you that feeling of feeling safe straight away. And if you were taking one of these up north, going up, you know, the top end where the crocs are, I know crocs can jump, but you've got a bit of bit, better chance if you've got a bit of height in your sides, haven't you? So that is, that is the, I suppose, the biggest feature of this boat. A little bit wider and a hell of a lot deeper. So the story about this boat is, gentleman come in, he's already a Quintrex customer because he's got a 385 Explorer. He's traded that in on this new 350, which he's going to put on the roof rack of his car. And they're going to do a nice trip around Australia, starting down in Western Australia. And then when he comes home, back onto the trailer and used as an estuary boat. So we've coupled this with a four stroke Evinrude, 9.8 horsepower. It's the first of the twin cylinders. Uh, still a manageable weight to be able to lift on and lift off, but having that twin cylinder, plenty of grunt, plenty of torque, and these boats are an easy planing hull. Quintrex design their boats to plane nice and easy using the minimum horsepower, which means the minimum, minimum cost to you, the customer, and fuel usage by being able to do it with a smaller motor. And with a car topper, you don't want to have a crane to lift off your motor and put it back on. You want something that you can still manage. So beautiful little package and I think you'd be more than happy. Okay, so what we've got here is the 370 Dart and the 370 Outback Explorer. Now, you don't have to um, know much about boats to have a good look at this and see which boat's going to be the most stable boat in the water. Increased beam, flatter bottom, we're not neglecting, we've still got enough V on the front to get through a bit of chop, but these are two purposely built different boats. This boat will handle the chop a lot easier than this boat, but at rest, where a lot of us are out here, we're throwing cast nets, we're flicking lures, we're picking up our crab pots, this is going to be the stable boat. So you can see, you know, we're gonna be selling a lot more of these to a lot less of these now with Twindrex introducing this new range. And have a look at the depth in this boat, you know what I mean? It has got as much depth as a traditional V-hull boat. So this is today's price. Bear in mind it's 2018 and we've got videos out there that people have been watching for the last five years. So in five years time, when you say, oh, I've got a picture of a boat for $7,800 on it, a fair chance it may be a little bit more expensive but anyway what we're demonstrating here is look at the holes from the front so this dart the way it's presented here would not be classed as a car topper because of this rounded top deck so a little bit awkward to put on and push over a set of rollers with 
doing that. However, we can order this boat with a flat top deck, so don't be deterred. If you want a 370 dart, Quintrax can make it as a car topper. So we eliminate this handle, this becomes nice and flat and level, and you can still car topper it. So being a narrower boat, it may work on a smaller width car with smaller racks, but if you can fit the big boat, that 370 dart, what a car topper is that? So these are the bare bone models in the Outback Explorers. Come with me inside, I've done one up, a little bit different, and it's, I wouldn't say it's a bare bones boat anymore. Come for a walk. Hide the price? Yeah. Bugger it, Billy, I wanna sell this boat. It's gonna sell, I believe that. Let me show you some features of this one. So what makes this a different Explorer? or what makes this a beautiful little Explorer. Have a look. So we've started off, we've, fit, we've got the factory fitted accessory kit. Now what's an accessory kit? Navigation lines, rear anchor lines, bilge bump, and battery isolation switch. Yes, we all say, oh, we're never gonna use our boat at night. Well, we do. So where do we fit a switch panel and everything without having a console? Come around here, Billy, and have a look at this. Then nicely manufactured, aluminium, painted, matches the rest of the boat. Right there, next to the driver, we've got our nav lights, we've got our bilge pumping um, switch, and we've got an accessory switch for future um, product. Also, having this here is probably a pretty damn good spot to whack a sounder. Nice little um, Lawrence. Hook series sander here would be perfect. So we've offered this boat with the flooring options in it. We've put the battery and fuel tank back at the back. We've chosen the low floor in this boat. I like the low floors. You get more, it's a better seating position instead of having your knees up high. It also increases the depth of the sides of the boat, which has already been increased with this being a um, outback. The casting deck at the front. Again, casting decks are great if you've got a stable boat. We have a stable boat, so we've done that. Another little point of notice up the front, we've got the reinforced plate fitted on the front for a future electric motor. So that is a, an additional plate that's been welded on there prior to it being painted. These are a great estuary boat. I know we've done a lot of videos on the Buster over the years, but this new Outback Explorer is actually wider than the Buster something worth considering. So this is a bargain, this boat. So what I need is to put out to people out there is someone, give me a ring, buy this boat. I will take it for a water test. We will film this boat and put it out and show you how it performs in the water. So don't muck around, give me a call. G'day, Les here. Just finishing off another deal. Do you like our YouTube videos? Well, hit the subscribe button. You know that subscribe button there? You'll become part of the family of Calandra Marine and get given the latest opportunity to watch our YouTube videos as they become available. So get behind us, we get behind you, hit subscribe.